Hello everyone, Pally Tim here. Welcome back to Subnautica. Hope you guys are doing well today. We've been seeing some interesting glitches in the game. Last episode, the antennas on top of my Cyclops disappeared. Uh, well, more accurately, moved about 10 feet to the left and stayed there no matter where we traveled to. Uh, and then I got back to the base, right? Hand on heart, I did not do this. I wouldn't make this up just to have something to talk about. I have plenty of things to talk about. Um, Tim 2's color changed, and I didn't do that. It's the same color as Tim a tree now, and uh, it's kinda, kinda weird. We're gonna head back out to the Northwest base again and head into that super deep cave. I upgraded the um, prong suit with deeper diving capabilities. It was at 900 before, and I also checked. I was a little confused with the Cyclops. Uh, the Cyclops starts at 600, and then when you upgrade it, it goes to 900. But that's still not enough to go where we're trying to go. Uh, so the prawn suits are only way to maneuver down there. Uh, however, there was an alien base that we saw deep, deep, deep in a cave last episode. It said it was made to either keep something out or to hold something in. Ugh, sounds spooky as fuck. Uh, I do have our alien tablets on hand this time. We needed one of those to actually gain access to the building. We have that now. So uh, should should be a pretty easy trip down there. And there's one less ghost Leviathan for us to worry about. I swear the lights on this thing are useless. It just makes things I'm looking at more difficult to see. Northwestern base on the starboard side, which means the cave, even though I can't really see that well, is immediately underneath us. Swap over to the camera. I'm going in the more difficult entrance this time. Just gotta position ourselves so nothing's gonna bump. And down we go. I think I made a fucking mistake here, boys. Can I turn? Please don't hit. Please don't hit. Oh, we're hitting. Oh, shit. Okay, this looks good. Take it down. <laughs> okay, then we need to a small circle out of here. The back hit a little bit. That's okay. We're still lowering. This was the second smaller entrance into the cave than we saw before. And I didn't really think I'd be able to pilot my way down, but I wanted to try. But hey, that wasn't half bad. thing is still pretty hard to get around in. Uh, so I'm going to park here again. Engine powering down. Yeah, turn off the lights. Oh, someone's on the radio. Don't worry. We'll get to that soon. Fuck yeah, dude. So first it's down the waterfall. Oh, big drop. Oh, huge drop. Okay, and then we when we get to the skeleton room, it was look to the right, wasn't it? And follow the lights? Well, maybe that was after this room. 
Oh yeah, it definitely wasn't this way. We couldn't go this deep last time. So I wonder... Oh, I see there's more than one egg on that now. I only saw the big one last time. So I wonder what's deeper in this in this path. Let's just try to remember that that was east. I got pretty turned around in here last time. Oh, this looks like one of those same trees, but it, the egg hatched maybe. Because it broke the tree around it. There's some music that's really tense in here right now. Oh, thank you. We're almost a thousand meters down and it just keeps going. This is the lowest we've ever been. Hey, you teleporty motherfucker, teleport this! <laughs> Get out of here! Oh, wow, yeah, this is the lava biome. We just got a glimpse of this before, and it was at the bottom of a really big pit. me. I think I'm just going to go back up. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> I don't, I don't want to get lost down here. This is crazy deep. Okay, so it's in here, into the room with the big skeleton. And then across the room from the big skeleton. Got it. You know, we can actually take the uh, Seamoth down here. It's really not that deep. Well, it's extremely deep. But it's the Seamoth is also capable of, of going that far. So, um, we were in here earlier. I'm stuck. We were in here earlier. I saw... Jesus, like my character can't walk on the floor in here. I think that's exactly the problem. Okay, so we'll leave this at the start. Um, we were in here before, and we saw this portal. Come to, th or this force field. Come to think of it, we saw another force field somewhere as well. And I think it was down in these same tunnels. Um, I thought it probably would be best if I looked around first before we touched anything. Like this. Uh, it said that this place may be built to keep something in. Ooh, okay. Okay, so that's just broken glass. All right. What are you, big guy? Um, the skeletal remains of a vast predator housed within an artificial habitat. The environment constructed to house the specimen suggests it was kept alive in containment for research purposes for months or even years. Organic matter indicates the habitat once supported extensive plant life, though it has since decayed with the facility collapse. This specimen was either left to die or killed on the spot. While it shares some skeletal traits to the biter and sand shark, including its distinctive double eye socket, this fossilized specimen is significantly larger and features uh, unusual forearms really seen in aquatic species. This species has likely gone extinct in the past thousand years, and its evolutionary relatives have evolved almost beyond recognition. I know it's just a little thing, but it's really nice to be able to uh, read a whole thing underwater without having to worry about my oxygen running out. 
All right, anything weird going on inside of you there, dude? Were you the big bad monster of this facility? Residual biological Ooh. evidence suggests <gasps> indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive study. Oh my god! The fucking thing got ripped apart! Ugh! These organic parts on display contain DNA from dozens of different organisms, largely originating off-world. They are in varying states of augmentation with advanced technologies. This production line setup suggests these self-warping constructs were built, maintained, and deployed by the aliens that designed this facility. Holy shit. I gotta go get air. I didn't bring any fucking water with me. This is going to have to be a much quicker trip than I thought. Okay, insert the tablet. Okay. Integrating new PDA data. Small herbivore gamma, leviathan embryos, large carnivore theta, unidentified leviathan. Sea Emperor, bone samples, Emperor specimen. So it's just like a bunch of, um... So unidentified Leviathan. This Leviathan species have been assigned designator Sea Emperor. Bone samples from the Emperor specimens indicate some potential for a Kara immunity. Single specimen captured for study at purpose-built containment facility constructed in the volcanic region at a depth of 1.4 kilometers. Assessment, while it's unlikely the emperor specimen is still contained in the facility described, it may be possible to, possible to acquire further data there on how aliens attempted to develop a vaccine. A vaccine for the infection that we have right now. You know, I was just thinking, what if we just spread this sickness everywhere? And didn't that, didn't, didn't that other ship get shot down because this, this planet's in containment? Uh, Leviathan detected at facility perimeter, closing in at high speed. Exterior anchor capable or cable impacted with massive force. Exterior anchor system buckling. Facility sinking. Collision with C4. Breaches detected in containment unit 7. Leviathan eggs. Immediate specimen deconstruction. Protocol initiated. 314 specimens were destroyed. One specimen unaccounted for. Evacuating staff to off-site sanctuaries. Planetary quarantine protocol initiated. So this is where it all started. Warning, infected individuals may not leave the planet. Shit. Okay, I don't have much air. Uh, but I still want to see what's going on in here, and then we got to go back. So they were designing, they were creating these warpy boys in here. There's literally like a chassis. Oh, that's creepy. God, if this moved, I think I'd pee my pants. Self warping quarantine enforcer unit. This life form showed signs of heavy genetic modification and extensive mechanical grafting. Its digestive and pulmonary systems have been replaced by an onboard battery receiving energy directly from the main grid and distributing it around the body. Miniaturized phase technology has been implemented beneath the skin and it is triggered by the central nervous system, allowing the construct to teleport at will. The brain and the central nervous system have been digitally augmented and advanced processing power and remote communication. Wow. Anything else in here? 30 seconds. Oh, we don't have time to check. Holy shit. There's just a bunch of tubes on the inside. It's one of its heads. Seek fluid intake. A uh, conveyor system. They have a production line. 
<gasps> Did I not see this in the corner? Oh my god. Data pertaining to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. Okay. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. Medical report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. And it sounds like the only way of doing that... What's happening? My hands! Oh no! And it sounds like the only way to do that is to go even deeper here. Okay, we seriously gotta move. I'm running so low on water. Going thirsty in a game all about water. It's kind of ironic. Sailors die of thirst at sea, surrounded by water that they can't drink. I'd like to point out that the Cyclops can go 900 meters with one depth increase. The prawn suit can go 1300 meters with one depth increase. And the Seamoth can go 900 with one depth, in, or with three de depth increases. So uh, I don't know how to get those uh, more advanced mods. So I imagine we're gonna have to start doing some looking uh, into some deeper crash sites. Uh, just, oh, yeah, I know, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm seeking right now. I'm seeking so hard right now. Okay, I don't have time to park this thing right now. Let me on board, let me on board. Hey, good to see you. Where are they? They don't have a... Well, actually, they do have a ton of water. Wow, 14 water? Oh Vital my science. god. Stabilizing. What was that? Was that just the music kicking in? Uh, these plants are fucking great. These marble melons. And then when you're done with them, you just cut them and replant them again. And then by the time you're hungry, well, there's some more marble melons. You get what I mean. So I guess my objective is pretty clear now. If we're gonna get off this planet, not only do we need... Oh my god, okay, thank you. I was gonna say, I just missed this jump by a fucking pixel. Not only are we gonna need to be able to go down into the depths, but we're also gonna need to craft that that rocket for us to leave. The rocket seems like it's gonna be the easy part. I mean, that's just a few materials here and there. Oh yeah, look at that turn. The difficult part is gonna be figuring out how we can go 1.4 kilometers into the planet. Just don't hit the side and then it's not a problem. The drive back home in this thing is so slow. I think it takes like fucking eight minutes or something. So I have a, a locker here marked aliens. And I only have, I have two purple tablets and an orange tablet. It looks like it didn't use my tablet or did I, maybe I had more. We have a lot of these ion cubes now. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I think with the ion cubes, we could make more of these tablets if we needed them. Did I kill a fish and not eat it? <laughs> I'm a monster. Hold on. Hey, guys! I brought you something! It's a rare delicacy. They're not normally this far up. Okay. So we have to find a way to go deeper. I think next episode we'll start knocking out some more radio missions. Maybe one of them will lead me in the right direction. 
until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It was really neat to see that facility. That was really cool. I hope I didn't miss any more data down there. That would, that would suck, but that would be very me. I also want to try to remember to go back to the second Tagasi base. We can take the Seamoth. There was a base down in that cave that needed an orange tablet to open it. I want to make sure I remember to do that next time too. Take care guys, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.